Hi Nipa TV viewers. Today we are going to see some interesting topics related with how to use the target property in web page or in the web form using HTML. I will explain you both in that HTML format and ASP.NET. I am just adding here one a hyperlink and one anchor tag. Anchor tag mostly using in this HTML and a hyperlink is used in ASP.NET. So I am giving the both example. You can easily understand what's the going th things what's going on here. I am just uh, adding this hyperlink button. Actually, I added sorry. I uh, all previously I told that I am going to add hyperlink. Instead of it, I just added link button. Okay, no problem. Now I am now I am adding the hyperlink tag with the ID. Just I am giving something called link one. Run it equal to server. That if you want any doubt related with this run it. Tag. You just to go through our previous videos, otherwise, it's a simple thing which is validated in this server side control. So, we are using the runner server because we can access this attack in the server side. So, we are using a runner server. If you're not using runner server, we can't able to access this in coding file. Okay, now I am adding the anchor tag. This is for the people's referencing reference for the HTML. Here I am pausing this navigation URL, something called Google HTTP, yes, that is SSL certificate, we need to pause, otherwise it won't work, it won't redirect, because uh, um, it will search only in this root only, in this root directory if this file is present, otherwise it's browse error, so uh, we need to use, if you want to pause some other links related with some other websites or something like that. Just click one, click two. I am giving some text value here. That is for our reference. Whatever the text you need to be placed, you just to give that one. I am just saving this and running this application. Let me see what is the things going on here. Okay, now you going to use. We are going to use the target property. Let me see before the. If I click this, it will navigate in the same pages. This won't be happen for some other things. So we need to be navigate these links to another window. So or another tab. So how it is possible? It is possible through using this target tag. Yes. If you use the target equal to underscore blank, it will work. It will redirect to the next tab. Let me see how it works. I am just saving this application and I am just reloading this. Yes. Now it's navigating to this another pages, right? Yeah, now you can easily find out the difference for click one and click two. Click one, I am giving this target as blank. So it's redirecting to the next pages. Now I am adding this target to this second control also. Now I am saving and reloading this application. Now I click, it's opening in the new tab. That's it, I think. <coughs> now you can understand what the things, what is the use of target property in hyperlink as well as the anchor tab. Thanks for watching, guys.
please subscribe our channel for more videos